Good morning, everybody. And uh, on behalf of the Moran Arts Foundation, a very big welcome to you all to this beautiful Juniper Hall. Um, I'm Richard Moorcroft. I'm uh, delighted to be here once again for the official announcement of the winner of the 2019 Doug Moran National Portrait Prize. Um, and the usual gentle reminder, the family name is pronounced Moran. So, uh, just before we get underway, I would most importantly like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Aora people of the Gadigal Nation, and pay my respects to Elders past and present. Now, the Doug Moran National Portrait Prize is one of Australia's most prestigious art awards, and it remains the country's richest art prize. Today, our winner will receive $150,000. And each of the finalists exhibited here today will receive $1,000. The judges of the 2019 Doug Moran National Portrait Prize are artist Nigel Milsom, who won the prize in 2013 for his portrait, Uncle Paddy. Kelly Galatley, the director of the Ian Potter Museum of Art at the University of Melbourne. And Peter Moran, managing director of the Moran Healthcare Group. Now, Peter's parents, Greta and Doug Moran, and I'd like to acknowledge and welcome Greta, who's here this morning, uh, established the Moran Arts Foundation in 1988 for Australia's bicentenary, with the Doug Moran National Portrait Prize being joined in 2007 by the Moran Contemporary Photographic Prize. But I'd now like to get the formalities and the announcements underway, because I'd like to welcome, first of all, to the stage, the CEO of the Moran Arts Foundation and the Managing Director of the Moran Healthcare Group. Also, of course, as we've heard, one of the judges. Please, a big welcome to Peter Moran. Good morning, everybody. Um, and thank you all. Thank you, Richard. Um, thank you all for coming this morning. Um, it's, it's, it's a very exciting time, particularly for the artists. Um, I'd, like to, I'd like to welcome everybody to Juniper Hall um, on behalf of the Moran Arts Foundation, as Richard did. Um, it's always great for our family to see so many artists, finalists attending um, this important event. Um, we, with, with close to a thousand entries this year, um, it was a challenge for our judges to select the winner, um, and being part of that um, was a very interesting process as it always is. Um, our family continues to enjoy supporting the arts in, in Australia through the Moran Prizes and also particularly in the photographic, uh, photographic workshops in schools all over Australia. So, so we, 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 we think that's important for, for generations growing up to be a part of it. Um, the, exhibi the exhibition that you see here today opens to the public tomorrow and runs through until December. We, we are delighted that some of, the, some of our finalists will be actually holding, um, holding Sunday afternoon talks in November uh, regarding their artworks. Um, I'll, I'll now hand you back to Richard and, and we'll, get, um, we'll get to the announcement. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Peter. And uh, again, wonderful to hear of the support of the Moran, fa the Moran family for um, all of these creative endeavours, both the paintings that we see today, but also the tremendous photographic workshops for young creative minds all around the country. Now this year, as I mentioned, uh, Nigel Milsom, Kelly Galatley and Peter Moran focused their gaze on close to 1,000 artworks and, as Peter mentioned, uh, narrowing them down to 139 semi-finalists and then to the 30 finalists you see here today. Now that is, of course, 
no easy task. And uh, I can only imagine uh, a challenge filled with many interesting discussions and debates. However, decisions have been made and now to share a little of the process of their deliberations and of course to make the major announcement I'd like to welcome to the stage Kelly Galatley and Nigel Milson. This is where the designation of curator and artist becomes very palpable because I'm the designated speaker today. Um, firstly, on behalf of the entire judging panel, I'd like to congratulate all of the shortlisted artists here today. It, um, it was a pleasure to be part of the panel. Um, it took us um, the better part of a day to shortlist down to the 30 works that you see here. And I'd really like to congratulate and thank the foundation for enabling us to do that in front of the works themselves. So it was, it's a real privilege and I feel that um, everyone's been represented in their best light because we were able to judge the work, to shortlist these works um, from the works themselves and that makes an incredible difference as you all know. Uh, for us, um, un well unfortunately there can only be one winner, um, so this is where it gets uncomfortable for those of us involved, but one of the, th the reasons I think we've both agreed to, to be part of this process this year is that $150,000 for any artist is a life-changing sum. Um, so um, it, it, it is really important that prizes like this continue and um, they provide invaluable support to um, our community. But for the winner. <laughs> the 2019, um, the work that um, is the winning work of the 2019 Doug Moran Prize for us was intriguing because in a way it uh, captured its subject um, through a lack of solid form. It's, it seems the antithesis in some ways of what portraiture should be. The subject seems to hover on the surface of the work, on the surface of the canvas, in some ways like a vibrating aura. And uh, in terms of portraiture, uh, for us it seemed to capture that subject and it's very hard to talk about a portrait without revealing the subject, you'll know straight away who it is. Um, like a kind of, uh, to capture the subject like a sort of technicolour apparition. Um, it's neither concrete shape nor exact likeness. Um, and for us that's where um, all of the works here are really important, but this work in particular seems to point to the, to the ways in which portraiture can continue to be a really important um, force in the contemporary art scene. Um, it's not just about capturing a likeness, but it's about pushing the medium and it's about that sort of magical combination of both the artist and subject coming together. So, um, it's my absolute pleasure on behalf of Nigel, Peter and myself to announce the winner of the 2019 Doug Moran Portrait Prize as what? With this portrait of Robert Forster. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Greta. I'm, um, I thought you'd get a call. <laughs> so, um, yes, that's highly un unexpected. <clears throat> um, but I just want to say thank you so much. That is a life-changing amount. That is really something. Um, thank you to the judges, Nigel and Kelly. Um, and thank you to Robert. This is the third time I've painted Robert. I think it was 2005. Um, <clears throat> Robert was so important to me as a baby artist in Australia. The great music, wearing lipstick, wearing dresses. He was really something. Thank you. Well, wonderful to see an embrace. Well, well earned. So uh, congratulations to what? And of course, many thanks uh, to Nigel and Kelly and Peter for their uh, conclusions and the challenges of their judging. And of course, 
this morning. That brings us to the end of uh, the formalities. On behalf of the Moran Arts Foundation, I would like to thank you all for coming along this morning and, of course, most particularly to all of those finalists whose works are hanging on the walls here at Juniper Hall. The exhibition is open from tomorrow and we very much hope that you will encourage your friends, family and everybody else to come and have a look at it. But thank you for being here today and congratulations. Thank you.